Hello everyone, and welcome to my review of Linux Deepin version 15.4. It is a Chinese distribution based on Debian, and it's a modified GNOME desktop. If I was to sum up the distribution in a few words, I would have to say blurry and much faster. It does look like a lot of work has been done on the design side of things. This video is going to be a bit unusual because I'm actually going to discuss the financial side of it. So it was a point that I raised when I was reviewing the security implications of the distribution because unfortunately Chinese software does have mm, quite a poor reputation for spying and basically getting up to no good. And I found absolutely no evidence. Um, there seemed quite a few people disliked that fact, but anyway, that's besides the point, I suppose. But one unknown thing was where they got their funding from. So I've actually received some information from a long time subscriber, and I will go through that later in the video. So I'm looking here at the new control panel, which is on the right hand side of the screen. It's a very nice effect. There's only one downside of it though. When you go into the update and it sits there taking a while and you accidentally click away, it just stops the updates. Hmm, <laughs> whoops. So this panel at the bottom of the screen can be moved around. So you can change the location to let's say the left hand side. So this has launchers for favorite applications and the applications which currently open. The applications currently open are highlighted. It is a fairly standard style of dash. You do have a launcher for the multitasking view and each multitasking desktop has a different wallpaper. So it is quite easy to distinguish between them and you can drag and drop the applications between desktops. Yeah, so it is very similar to the GNOME activities. There's quite a few custom applications on Deepin, and they do seem to share the same consistent styling with the blurry effects. My site is not the best, and to be honest, I can only just see some of that. So if you click on the album cover, you get a larger picture, and for some songs it does display the lyrics. Although it's not always accurate, because that should be Nicole Key, Fly, and it has Avril Lavigne. Definitely not that. Nice effect though. If you've used Deepin before, you'll notice the mouse cursor has changed. I quite like that style, really. It does remind me of KD Oxygen and Breeze mouse cursors. The custom file manager is very close to Nautilus. <laughs> Some of the English is not the best. I can see what they're on about. There is one downside, though, that you can't connect to a custom network server. All you have are SMB servers. You cannot connect to an SSH server. Well, at least not with a file manager directly. I had to use SSHFS to get a connection to an SSH server. Nice effect here when it drops the folder into the shares. It's not too practical, it's just a nice effect. There's a screen recorder. Different. So select an area. I can record to MP4s or GIF image. Okay, GIF image, strange option. Voice recorder. The right click menus do have some blurry effects to them. Not necessarily obvious in all applications. That's the wallpaper switcher. Any custom wallpapers you put in the pictures slash wallpaper folder will appear in this list. And in terms of applications on the system, you have WPS Office, Foxit PDF Reader. Not so sure about that one. I've seen a lot of um, CRUD come pre-installed with Foxit, although that is on Windows, but I'm not so sure about Linux. Looks like we have Crossover and Wine on the system, and also Spotify. Now to discuss the financial side of Deepin. This information comes from a long-time subscriber whose wife is Chinese and part of her work is to investigate people for legitimacy when applying for government documents and visas. All the information is available publicly, but you have to read Chinese. So up until around 2010, it was a community-based distribution. In 2011, Wenhu and Liu founded Wuhan Deep in Technology, recognizing that a formal development environment would encourage better development for the product. Funding was provided by other ventures owned by Wenhu and Liu, likely a primary from his share stake in NS Focus, which is a cybersecurity solutions company in China. No income was reported for the first two years, and the Chinese tax authorities suspected them of money laundering, and attempted to make the company pay a fixed tax rate. After an audit was conducted, it was concluded that no illegal activities were taking place. Now, in 2014, the company actually started making a lot of money. They were won the contract to provide software on all 
Chinese government computers, which works out to approximately 10% of the computers in China, which must be a huge amount. Funny, I had a bit of a suspicion there might be Chinese government funding involved, and this appears to be where it is. We don't exactly know what distribution the Chinese government are given from Deepin, but it could well be similar to what you are seeing here. This was the first time that Deepin really started making money. They also did a round of venture capital investments, where NS Focus invested approximately 3 million US dollars. In 2015, Deepin started producing software for ATM machines, hole in the wall, whatever you would like to call those. So it was the first time that Chinese software was used on ATMs. And in 2015, they obtained some funding from Kiho360, the company that make antivirus for Android, where they gained approximately 8 million US dollars. In 2016, they were involved with a cloud-based music platform in China, and the owner, Wenhuan Liu, manages five other tech ventures which are all based around security. So honestly, it appears that Deepin seemed to be a legitimate company. I saw absolutely no evidence of spying activities in distribution. I think, unfortunately, a lot of software from China is tarred with the same brush, that it's heavily involved with spying. Of course, that's not to say no Western companies carry out spying, because as we know with Microsoft, they do. Yeah, to be honest, I see absolutely nothing wrong with Deepin. The system is very fast and responsive, and the styling is a bit more unique compared to a lot of what we have seen in Linux. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.